Hi everyone and welcome to Let's Learn Premiere Pro. Today I'm going to show you how to take your 360 footage and erase the tripod out of the footage. This will be done using freely available tools that I'll reference in the description below. So as you can see here I have some footage with a small tripod from the Samsung Gear 360 and I would like to erase it out of the clip. Now the easiest way to do this is to take a still by clicking the export frame button in the program viewer window you can save it out as a JPEG I usually save it as a TIFF for higher quality then we switch over to Photoshop and we need to load in the freely available plugin that I was talking about it's called the tripod removal action set for Photoshop and I'll link to the source for downloading this in the description and you can either do it like I did drag and drop or you can load it in through the action set menu in Photoshop once it's loaded in you'll see tripod removal and you can turn it on and off in the window action tab because sometimes you might not be able to see it so once you've done that you want to bring in the still file that you saved out in my case I saved it as a TIFF and then you have the action set so you need to click the play button for each action so you click on the first click the play button click on the second action click the play button and it progresses through the sequence of steps needed to wrap your frame into something that you can easily edit out what you don't want there. The unwrapped equi-rectangular version makes it difficult to erase something but when you have it in the small world view, the sphere view here, it's a lot easier to erase something. So here you can see the two pieces of my tripod and I'm going to duplicate this frame to make changes. I'm going to take my lasso selection tool, you're going to select the area around your tripod and then click the delete button and you should get a menu that says fill content aware if not search in the tools in Photoshop to find content aware fill and that will fill in the area with content around the tripod to make it look like the tripod was never there the next step you want to do is actually create a patch out of that that you can apply to your entire clip because this is a still obviously it's, it's not going to work but if you limit the region that you want to change to around the tripod you can apply it as another layer on top of your footage that will just cover the tripod in the footage. The key to doing that is to make sure you have a nice feather on it so that even when there's shadows and light changes in the scene you can't necessarily detect where you have photoshopped the patch and where you haven't. I'm going to take my lasso selection tool draw an area around the tripod here Once I've created the lasso, I'm going to right click on it and select feather. I'm going to set it to about 15 pixels. That should be good for a nice soft feather. And then I'm going to go to the select menu and inverse and then delete. So once you have your patch, you'll want to continue with the action set to reassemble it in the equi rectangular format by clicking the play button on each of the next two actions here. One unwraps it and then one rotates it to the right side up and then you want to save it as a PNG file which retains the transparency layer set the compression setting to none then import that PNG file and put it on top of your footage and you'll see that it has covered just that area where the tripod is now I can extend it for the entire duration of the clip and I won't have any tripod visible in the shot so after I do that, I'm going to export this clip to kind of show you what it looks like in a 360 environment in YouTube. So I'll just set the settings to regular H.264 to match the source settings. Now you need to export the file using your match settings here to keep the frame size consistent with your raw footage. And then you're going to have to open up the spatial media metadata injector. Now once the file has exported, you can open it in the spatial media injector to make sure it has the necessary 360 VR metadata that YouTube will use to convert it for the player window. Save it out and then upload your injected video file to YouTube. Let it process. And then as you can see here, once the file has uploaded, if I scroll down in my player window here, the tripod is no longer visible. It's a small detail, but sometimes it does make for a better experience with your videos. If you'd like to know more about working with 360 VR footage or just Premiere in general, let me know in the comments and I'll make a video for you. Thanks and see you soon.